from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, we head to the Potomac River, where Clark Wendlet will fish with a very special winner of the Americana Outdoors giveaway on this famed fishery. But first, we'll make a stop at League City, just a 30-minute drive south of Houston, Texas, and meet up with professional angler and Yamaha Pro staff, Bill Platt. He's taking his son Caleb to a Cabela's store to do some last minute shopping for everything they need for their fishing trip in the Gulf. Hi, I'm Captain Bill Platt. I'm here at the Lake City uh, Cabela's and we're going to here and look at all the fishing equipment they got to offer. We're going offshore fishing tomorrow with my son Caleb Platt. Hey guys. And uh, we're gonna come in here and see what kind of equipment and tackle and hooks and weights, everything we need to go offshore fishing tomorrow. We're very excited. Me and Caleb went to Cabela's and to get some last minute hooks and, and, and weights and some jigs. And I brought Caleb and showed him, uh, you know, assortment of lures they have. And I explained to him, you know, what each lure you catch on each saltwater lure. They got lots and lots of lures to choose from. Just look at all these. I know, isn't that awesome? These are good too, these are great. They got some awesome stuff here. For the average consumer going to the Cabela's, they have so many different seminars from hunting to fishing and stuff like that. So the average consumer can go in there and learn so much. The staff there is so, uh, they know so much about the product and, and the stuff they sell there. And the average person go in there and learn so much from the people that, are, that work there, you know, they have a job there. So when you come in here to, to if you don't know what rod and reel you need, just kind of ask this guy here, ask one of the associates here, and they'll, they'll get you a reel that's in your price range. You tell them exactly what you're looking for at catching, and they'll we'll match the rod and reel together. I love going to Cabela's because they got electronics, fishing, guns, hunting, all the apparel, up to date, every single thing. It's, you get you go one place and you have it all. And all we gotta do is get the, uh, the fish to cooperate. What we're doing here, we're just getting, turning all the percos on, getting the batteries turned on, getting everything fired up, getting all the electronics fired up, make sure everything comes on correctly. Uh, just fired up the, uh, the motors. You see, they're all running. The wind's blowing pretty hard today. It's supposed to be four foot, so it's gonna be a little snotty today. We weren't anticipating that, but uh, we're just going fishing. It's just me and my son today. You know, hopefully we can catch some fish. I know it's gonna be rough, but we're gonna go out there and make the best of it. Bottom machine. I'm gonna check the weather here. Make sure there's no storms, no bad weather on our way before we go out. I always check the weather every time I go out. The weather is very, very important to offshore fishing. Here's my bottom machine. I got a 3KW transducer going to a 7612. Right now, I know I'm at the dock, it's four foot, but I'm gonna have it in split screen. So what split screen is, on the right, I can zoom in on 10, 15, 20 feet of the bottom. So if I'm at 200 feet, I can zoom in 15, 20 feet of the bottom. So if I'm looking for grouper, snapper, or a bottom fish, I can zoom in, it'll magnify 10 feet or 15 foot of the bottom so I can see exactly what's on the bottom. So I know exactly what fish is there. Right now I have Helm Master engaged. And what I'm doing, this one control, joystick controls all three motors. All, all three motors turn a different direction. So especially when I have the wind push me up against the dock, I hit the joystick, Helm Master, and I push it this way and it kept me off the other boat when I was pulling out. Anybody can drive it. A lot of people mess up docking or pulling out of the dock. You know, they don't know how much gas to give it, how much, or which way you start getting excited and you start hitting throttles. That's how the accidents happen. With joystick, Helm Master, you hit a button and you run the whole boat off this right here. It's simple. It 
today, I was really focusing on Hellmaster. They got a new feature from Hellmaster now that's a part of Hellmaster. It's called Set Point. Set Point is a really, really cool feature. You hit a button and your boat will set right where you want it to. It's got two GPS's on top, the bow and the stern. So they kind of knows where you're exactly where you're at. So it's got fish point, set point, and drift point. Drift point is if I want the boat to drift any, any direction, if I'm putting lines, three, four, five lines out along the boat, and the current's running this way a little bit, I can move the boat like this and make it drift perfectly the way I want it to drift, or if I want to move it back a little bit. So when we're sail fishing or say sword fishing at night or drift fishing for kingfish, I can set it exactly the way I want it. The other day we went out and caught bait. And I ease into the rig, up current, and I hit fish point stern. And what I did, I put the stern to the, the current and up current of the rig, and there was nobody on the helm. So we were up there catching bait, and as I was taking bait off, it's another free man, more or less. That's a person that usually you got to have, and you don't have to have that no more. You can find out more about Yamaha's integrated digital boat control system, Helmmaster with Setpoint, at YamahaOutboards.com. Well, coming up, meet the winner of the Americana Outdoors giveaway. He'll get an opportunity to fish with a pro. Stay tuned. Quiet, you sons of fishes! Now, what? I, I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. A lifetime. It's spent learning, enduring, and growing. Day after day, season after season. As an outdoorsman, your pursuit is tireless. And at Cabela's, ours is too. We design, refine, and deliver durable, purpose-built products that you can trust your season with. If our name's on it, it's priced right every day. And built for seasons to come. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Cabela's, it's in your nature. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Now Clark Wendland is taking Americana Outdoors giveaway winner, William Higgins, for a fun fishing day on the well-known fishery, the Potomac River. You know, on the Americana Outdoors website, we had a giveaway and People submitted their applications and, and, uh, and Will was the winner. And the cool thing was, is he lived in Maryland. I was coming to the Potomac River to fish an FLW tour event. And so I just thought, hey, we'll hook up right after the event's over. Hopefully I'll know where a few fish are because I'm gonna be fishing the event and uh, we can go spend a day on the water. I saw an ad on TV actually for this contest and uh, I went online and I followed the link and sub uh, submitted my name for this contest and I was really lucky and I actually got the chance to come fish with uh, Mr. Clark Wentland today. Hey, I think it's just going to be a fun day. It's a super great place to fish. Yeah, I'm super excited to come fish out here. I've never been out here before and I'm really excited to get this chance to fish with you. You know, it's awesome. It's a tidal fishery. I think we're going to catch some fish. Let's go see what happens. You know, the Potomac River is a tidal fishery, and when you've got a tidal fishery, the tides fluctuate here as much as about two and a half feet, and it's every six hours. So you could have, you know, on a really low tide, you know, the fish could be in totally different places, and you always think about it. I love this fishery because it's a thinking man's fishery. You have to always be thinking, where are the fish gonna go on this tide? What's gonna happen on a low tide? What's gonna happen on a high tide? Generally speaking, a low tide is the best. And we've got a pretty cool day. I'm gonna actually go here on my Garmin 7612. I'm gonna go to Tides. Uh, there's a nearby station right here, Indian Head. It, what it says to me is, is high tides about 5 a.m. So what we're gonna have all day today, we're here early in the morning, it's about six o'clock. Our tide's just gonna be falling out all day. I think it's gonna make the fishing better. It ought to get better late in the day. So you're just basically starting to get into fishing? Um. Kind of. So when I was when I was a kid in Pennsylvania, I would uh, do a lot of fishing because I used to live on a lake. 
um, but I had never learned how to like fish with lures, so it was all live bait, minnows and worms and stuff like that. So I'm just getting into getting back into fishing and kind of like learning how to do fishing with all the lures and hard plastics and everything. Yeah, there's a whole world out there, and there's so many different things to think of. And I mean, you you can get overwhelmed in no time. It used to be when I very first started fishing, there wasn't all this variety that there is now. And now, when you start looking at all the different baits, you know, to me they're kind of nice. tools, but you know, that I use every day. But when you think of that, man, it's it's fairly overwhelming. So we've been just fishing along on the outside edge of this grass bed. And there's grass out and there's grass in. Oh, look at that. And he pretty much choked on that plug right there. See that? That's cool. So first bite of the day on top water is what I was hoping. Good start. Clark, how do you like get ready for a tournament that you just like for an area like this that you just had? You know, when I'm fishing a tournament, what I usually do is, is I get to a body of water and I want to see it all. I want to see every bit of it if I can. And so, you know, I'll get out there and a lot of the very first day I practice is it's just riding around. I'm just going to I'm going to look at as much of it as I can. And I want to know what like on this fishery, I want to know how much grass there is and where the grass is and if there's some wood that looks different. I've been here a lot of times, so I kind of know where a lot of the hard cover, the wood or the rocks are, but the grass changes and every year is a little bit different. And so you just got to get out there and ride and look at it. <clears throat> and the other thing that happens is, is at low tide, you can see it all really well. Well, at high tide, you don't even really know it's there for the most part. And so low tide's kind of the time to go. And it's a, you know, it's one of those things you just, the only way to really find fish on a place like this is just, just to cover up all the water. All right. Well, you better get after it out I there. I know, man. I gotta get it. <laughs> Look at that, he's got some kind of wound in his back right there. Oh, wow. But it just shows you how hardy they can be. You know, his fin only goes halfway right there, but cool. Maybe he got into a fight with a snakehead. And maybe he did. Get out there and it's kind of slow. Clark picks up two really quickly. And I'm sitting there in the boat and I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna spend all day out here and not get not catch fish. I don't wanna be skunked and fish with a pro fisherman. That would just be terrible. Americana Outdoors will be right back after these messages. At Ranger, our dedication to real quality and craftsmanship runs deep. You'll see the rewards in every saltwater model we build. From our commitment to constant research and innovation to the design and construction of our own components, we're focused on solid confidence and lasting peace of mind. The Ranger Saltwater Series. It's a legacy of leadership engineered for optimum performance while consistently reinforcing the ultimate ownership experience. Learn more at rangerboats.com. The key to a great boating experience has the Yamaha name on it. It's your key to legendary reliability. Right now, during the Yamaha Key to Reliability sales event, purchase any qualifying Yamaha outboard and exercise your power of choice between five years of Yamaha warranty protection or up to $1,500 in Yamaha dealer credit. The key to reliability is now your key to a great deal on a Yamaha outboard. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Angle Coolers, rugged, durable, high-performance marine coolers. And by Sawyer Products. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Now, as part of showing our appreciation, we're thrilled to be able to give our viewer and fan an opportunity to get to fish with us. William Higgins entered the giveaways program on AmericanaOutdoors.com and won the fishing trip with three-time FLW Angler of the Year, Clark Wendlet. Oh, oh, it came off. Dear gummit. That was on frog. Which that grass just looks so good out there that it's just hard not to throw a frog. But. And that heavy vegetation, you're going to lose one every once in a while. I think I'm going to change to a frog. Yeah, throw a frog because we we'll go through this whole grass bed right here. So. How do you decide a bait color when you're throwing something? You know, a lot of it's just trial and error experience, but 
on a frog, you know, you can go with black, you can go with white, or you can kind of go with that, you know, the greenish looking, you know, frog color. And, and uh, I think any of them can work equally well. Clark, how did you end up as a pro fisherman? I, I really just always loved to fish. You know, I went fishing when my mom and dad took me fishing. That's kind of what we did on the week, fishing or hunting, one of the two. And, and, uh, and then I'm just extremely competitive. And so, you know, if, you know, like for, for example, you know, even my kids, I don't let them win at anything. You know, at Candyland, hey, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna win in Candyland. It doesn't matter what it is, I just wanna win. And so, and, and that, you gotta be competitive to wanna fish tournaments because you, you know, it's just something that kind of drives you to win. We're all competitive to an extent, but I've kind of got it worse than most people do. So anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of how I got going and, you know, had some success and just went from there. So now we'll, we just gotta figure out what they're gonna bite on. So anything you wanna try, you're welcome to try. You know, that's one thing that people think at home, you know, they, they think you come out and, and film and, and you're, you know, you're just catching them the whole time, but it's never that way. It's always work, you know, to try to figure them out. And, you know, some days you have those dream days where you just get out there and just kill them, but a lot of days it's just, you know, you gotta, you gotta figure out what they're doing, so. Much bigger, I caught him on a little swim bait. I was sitting there looking, there's a, there's a perch in the water right there that, uh, that looked like something had spit it up and all of a sudden that one bit. Not very big, but it's a fish. Yeah. <laughs> There's one. Nice. Right up on that point where you missed that one. That's a good one. Now I picked up that popper and it was the, it was pretty much the first cast with the popper. He ate it. Get him. He tried to eat the whole popper and it got him hooked right there on kind of on the outside of the mouth. Grab some pliers. Yeah. That was a great bite right there. Man, it's really hard. Strike King KVD splash. That's a Potomac River bass. In the tournament we just fished here, there were so many fish caught like this right here. Two and a half to three and a half pounds. It was unbelievable. There you go. There you go. Whew. Not a great big one, but. Still a fish. Yeah, it's definitely still a fish. You're throwing a little swim bait there. A little swim bait, yeah. Cool. Now that's the second bite you've had. I had one on a swim bait, and then I also caught that one on a on top water, so. You need some pliers? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. He was hooked good. All right, here we go. Cool. Awesome. Hey, stay tuned. Americana Outdoors will be right back. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy, Power Pole, swift, silent, secure, and by Spro Sports Professionals. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're fishing with Clark Wendland and the winner of the Americana Outdoors fishing trip giveaway on the Potomac River. You know, really what makes the Potomac River such a vibrant fishery is, is, you know, is grass. If you didn't have grass here, it'd still be good. There's hard cover and there's rocky banks. There's all kinds of places for fish to spawn. 
but when you have grass, that's what makes it so dynamic. And these flats run a long way, and there's all different kinds of grass. There's eelgrass, uh, millfoil, coontail, hydrilla, and probably four or five, I don't even know what they are. There's also lily pads, and there's two different kinds of lily pads. So you can just about find anything here, and the grass is really the key. There you go. Yeah. Oh, there's one following him. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It was a big one. It was. I think he wanted the swim bait too. He just got, this guy got to it first. Yeah, that's probably exactly what happened. Oh, my goodness, if you quit. Now, that fish went right under the boat, but I couldn't catch him. Yeah. Cool. Nice. There you go. Got another one. There he is. Good job, man. Whee. Another one on the swim boat. Another That's cool. We've kind of just worked our way to the outside of this grass, and the wind will tell you, wind is howling. I mean, it is howling. So we're just getting out here and drifting. A lot of times, if you just use the wind as your friend, it'll help you catch a lot of fish. There you go. Good job, Will. That's fun. Yep. And we've caught some of our fish today on a popper. I'm throwing a Strike King KVD Splash. And you know, the setup with this bait, I used to only throw monofilament on topwater because you want your line to float. But what I've actually gotten into is throwing a braid with a monofilament leader. And if you look, you can see the braid right here. This is actually Sunline BX2 going to Defire 15 pound mono. And the reason I do that is, is this, when I hook a fish, I've got instant contact with that fish. I can tell if he's on there, I can tell if I need to keep working the bait. It helps me work the bait just a little bit more crisper because I don't, I don't necessarily have to have any stretch in that line. And then as far as my rod goes, I'm throwing an XML bass jerkbait topwater rod. This rod right here makes it really easy to work those, those walking baits. Uh, because it's the right size. If you get a rod that's too big, you just can't do it. This rod feels absolutely perfect. So right around six and a half foot. You can work it, it's light. You can just do it all day long. That's a, that's a snake hit. Oh, okay. Wow. Big old snake hit. That was cool. I could see him coming. <laughs> wow. That thing is mean. Look at, how, look at the size of that oh. guy. Look at the pattern on it. That's pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Now they say that those guys are pretty good eating. Not really sure I want to touch him. But <laughs> you know, it, it, they, when, you, when you look at them, you can see why they call them a snakehead. I mean, their pattern looks like a snake. It's supposed to be extremely good eating. Hey, Will, thanks for joining us today, man. It's been a lot of fun. I, I mean, it's a really cool place, and uh, you are a great guest. I, I enjoyed fishing with you. Well, I really appreciate you having me out here. This is a lot of fun. I had a great time. Caught a bunch of fish for my standards anyway, so thanks for having me out here. We'll do it again sometime. And the next winner could be you. To win this fishing trip with a pro, just simply go to AmericanaOutdoors.com, click on Giveaways, and sign up. You can also keep up with Americana Outdoors giveaways and prizes information on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. Can I talk about Sunline? I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. 
As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Hobie's Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power, Mirage Performance, Mirage Drive. Hobie, enjoy the ride. From out on the water, straight to the grill, and everywhere in between, Americana Outdoors has you covered. Our newly designed website features instructional videos, product reviews, and cooking recipes from some of the top contributors in the business. For even more Americana Outdoors content, sign up for the monthly e-magazine featuring the latest outdoor news and trending topics in the industry. Don't miss out on your chance to learn from the pros. Visit AmericanaOutdoors.com now. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. Here at Big Bike Base, we've got a big line of different plastics, and you know they're all a tool, so you want to have them with you all the time. I made several checks in crowded areas, flipping that right there. Just a six-inch Big Bike Cretail worm. Here at Big Bike, we came out with four brand new colors this year. All four of these colors are going to be great fish catching baits. Definitely my number one go-to bait that Big Bite has out right now is the Big Bite Battle Bug. Big Bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors. From the makers of Bubba Blade comes the Bubba Blade Fishing Pliers. No matter where you're headed to fish, this tool will become an integral part of your tackle box for many years to come. They feature our patented no-slip grip handles, just like our Bubba Blade knives, ensuring that this tool will stay firmly anchored in your hand. In addition to the handles, these pliers feature a super tough cobalt cutter and convenient split shot and leader sleeve crimping cutouts. The ultimate in control, strength, and durability, Bubba Blade. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods, tournament tested and tournament tough. Tired of forgetting to set a recording or missing the latest episode of your favorite outdoors show? Check out Outdoor Action today. Never miss a second of shows like Americana Outdoors, Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, and Whitetail Diaries. All of this at the press of a button without a subscription fee required. Start watching your favorite shows when you want to watch them by going to OutdoorAction.com or through the Outdoor Action channel on any Roku device. <laughs>